All right, today's the day. We are finally ready to get the blazer back out of the garage for the summertime, for the season, and hopefully drive it a lot more this year than we did last year. Last year, we finally got the registration, the plates, titles. Well, we already had the title. Switched it over to antique title last year. And um, this year, we are ready to keep it on the road and keep it running and have some fun with it. And I'm not talking about the blazer like the little S10 blazer, like the new blazers. I'm talking about the good blazer, the K5 blazer. It needs cleaned up. It definitely needs some work done to it. And this year, we're hoping to get some more stuff done and, uh, you know, have some more fun with it. So we have a new battery for it right there. And we're going to switch that out, pull it out of the garage, maybe clean it up today. I don't know if I'll have time for it. And other than that, we're going to get it out of this garage where it just stores in the wintertime and into the bigger garage where we can work on it where all of the tools are. So uh, hang around for a minute. I'm going to get started up. All right. So we are in the truck right now. We are going to pull it out of the garage. Uh, let it run for a few minutes. This is the first time we have started it up this year. Hasn't been running in a couple months. I know it's not really good for it, but it's just been kind of sitting over here. Um, so we're going to pull it out, let it run for a few minutes, maybe put the other sides up, like the soft topper on this side is up, the other side's down, the back is down. We're going to go ahead and put all the sides up, and uh, we're going to pull it out, let it run, we'll pull it in the other garage. If we have time, maybe we will hose it off or something just to get a little bit cleaner. But let's see how it goes, Laura. All right, Laura, you ready to start the truck? Let's pump it a couple times. This is an 89 Chevy K5 with the 350, the 5.7, and here we go. <laughs> Doesn't sound too bad for not running in a while and having an exhaust leak. Let's see what the rear end sounds like. It might need some work this year. Oh yeah. Hold on. We're gonna hit the mirror on the door. We're gonna hit it. Let's, let's realign this. Try this again, huh, Laura? gonna do a quick walk around after I put this side up. 
Who's that in my truck? Somebody's trying to steal my truck. Oh, it's just you. Hey, Laura, what you doing? You driving? Doing real good. Be careful with that. Please don't break it. All right, so like I said, 1989 Chevy K5. It's not the most beautiful truck. It's not the ugliest truck. It's fun to drive around in, take off-roading, maybe for a little Sunday drive, go get ice cream or something. Yes, Laura? You want me to hold you? Yeah? yeah? All right, come here. So, uh, let's see here. Things we've done to the truck. Nothing special on this truck, like I said before. Four inch rough country lift. Got it when I was in college. It was cheap, I could afford it, but it's working. Truck looks good. Um, the one thing I would change about the lift is I went with the four inch blocks for the lift for the rear instead of leaf springs. So that's one of the things on my list of things to do this year is I wanna get the four inch leaf springs for the rear. Uh, definitely needs new tires. Tires are looking rough. You can see the dry rot in there. Tread is good and everything, but tires are old, they're rough. Another one of those things, got them in college, they were cheap. Uh, put them on here and you know, the truck hasn't been driven much in the past few years. So the tread hasn't gone down, but the tires just get old. Rims looking rough. I'm either gonna clean them up as best I can and repaint them or just get new rims all around. Missing a lug nut there. Gotta put that on my list. Add lug nut. Missing a lug nut there too. Add two lug nuts. All right, the fronts have the lug nuts, but the backs, missing two. So, as you can tell, the color, the paint, nothing looks terrible. I repainted a couple of years ago. The day I finished painting it, we had a storm come through and it knocked like an umbrella tent thing right into the side of the truck and chipped the paint in a couple spots. And that was a bummer. But we are thinking about doing a different color this year. Um, I don't know, I kind of like the color, but I also kind of want something that's not so obnoxious. Although the color is pretty sweet. It's starting to turn a little darker than what it used to be. But I really like the color of the new Dodge, Challengers, Chargers. Uh, I think Dodge, I guess maybe it's just a Dodge color. They have the Destroyer Gray and it's pretty sweet looking. I do like it, if I can say so myself. So I'm gonna add that with a little tan accent maybe on this back quarter on each side um, with a little logo. And maybe I'll try to find some rims or paint the rims somehow to match the rest of the truck. On the inside of the truck, you will see one of my friends later, I'm sure in some video, um, his dad helped reupholster, he did, not helped, he reupholstered the front two seats with the same material they use for boats and jet ski seats. Have uh, just a black kind of vinyl texture with a carbon fiber on the middle. So we got those and then the back bench seat. He did that one also, he made a cover for that one and it's turned out sweet. We have the soft topper cover. If anybody has a pickup truck or Jeep or Bronco or Blazer or International Scout or anything like that, these soft toppers are awesome. I've had this thing on for 10 years and other than a little bit of sun fading, oh, I forgot to buckle that one, sun fading in the clips, it's been holding up great. I've had no issues with it, no complaints. Sides go down, I have windows in the sides of mine or I can fold the whole thing back or I can fold the whole thing forward. It's perfect if I wanna use it just for fun as a truck, take it to the beach or something. Or if I need to go get a load of mulch, I'll just have a load of mulch dumped right into the bed. Flip the seat forward, put the cover on, boom, perfect. Um, like I said, I'm gonna repaint the truck, got the cover. Uh, eventually, I would like to get some new bumpers for the truck. I don't know if that'll happen this year because they get pricey for off-road trucks on huh, Laura. You want some bumpers for the truck? Yeah. With some big LED lights like we have. We got the, uh, I think it's a 50 inch LED light bar across the front with two little ones. We have two little ones across the front bumper here. I might look into different headlights and turn signals and maybe a grill this year. And then we have, I believe they're 18 inch LED bars on the side. And you know, like I said before, everything on this truck's pretty cheap, but uh, it actually works really well. I got the stuff on Amazon. Um, I really haven't spent a whole lot for anything. The tires are gonna be the most expensive thing on this probably so far. Um, you wanna hold the camera? 
There you go. All right, lower cam activated. So we got this truck and I bought it in North Carolina when we live down there. We currently live in Pennsylvania. The truck is pretty much rust free. The frame, uh, other than except for places where you would normally see rust, like the weld joints on the exhaust, those have a little rust. And there's this one little hole right in this front fender or front wheel well, where I don't know if just some mud sat there after an off-roading trip or something. But other than that, the truck is rust free all around and it is an off-road truck and it hit a tree uh, gosh over 10 years ago now and you can kind of see the body damage here where it was just a cheap quick bondo fix um the inside is dinged out with the hammer you can see where it's all been hammered out you can see the cracks in the paint out here now so that's another one of those things to fix this year so i honestly don't even don't even remember what i said before when i was in the garage that i wanted to fix i needed tires rims paint rear end definitely gonna happen um and i might get some long headers and do some custom exhaust work on it maybe add some cutouts into it just for some fun and uh maybe a new windshield the windshield is cracked and has a sticker from the guy that had the truck before me from gosh 12 years ago or something but other than that, it's been a pretty fun truck. Definitely turned some heads. People like it. People take pictures. I have fun driving it. Uh, Maggie has fun driving it. And we're going to see how well Laura's car seat fits in the back seat of it this year. Maybe we'll take her out for ice cream in it. There's an ice cream shop opening up a half mile up the road. So, uh, yeah. Maybe we'll have some ice cream dates on Laura. You like ice cream? Yeah. Yeah, you like chocolate? Chocolate. Yeah, chocolate. Yeah. We sure do. But, uh... I will be posting videos as I work on this bad boy and hope to have some fun with it and hope people enjoy seeing it or it gives ideas or inspirations because I know that I get that when I watch vehicles or videos of guys rebuilding vehicles. Oh, back to Laura Cam. All right, here you go, Laura. Good job. So, if you saw this, enjoy it and uh, follow along for more of the truck build. And we will see you next time, huh, Laura? You want to say bye, Laura? Laura, say bye. Bye. All right. See you later.